Hey Foxies, my name is Simon Fox. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday, and if you're returning, welcome back. Like always, this is never about subscribers nor about money, but about love and light. So with that being said, we're going to be getting into this James Charles palette tutorial. Today, I really wanted to jump into a colorful look. This is probably going to be a Euphoria inspired look or a Euphoria tutorial as well. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it just yet, but yeah, I hope that y'all love it. I ended up loving it so much. And I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about my hair, so I'm just going to go ahead and talk about it. Um, yeah, today I ended up shaving off my head, my hair, not my head, um, because I literally got tired of the fact that a lot of people think that a lot of people think that their thoughts should be controlling them and I really got tired of that because I feel like that was me at one point and I just don't think that I'm controlled by my thoughts anymore. I don't think that my thoughts are me all the time and I mean if you get it, you get it. Um, but with that being said, yeah, that's why I cut my hair. I literally just wanted something different. I wanted change. And this has definitely changed. Doesn't mean I won't go back to my hair, but you know, I need to change. So with that being said, yeah, let's just jump straight into to this tutorial. I hope that y'all love it. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't. Please make sure to like, comment, and all that good stuff. And let's get straight into it. First, starting off with my Anastasia Eyelid Primer. I honestly love this so much because you don't even have to use a concealer. You can just use this as a concealer base. It basically does the same thing and it just it just makes every eyeshadow look so flawless and so soft on the eye. I love it. So here I'm taking the Nervina palette, which I'm so obsessed with, and I'm taking that shade C1 and I'm just gonna be setting all that. Then I went in with, straight in with the James Charles palette because this is not an Avino tutorial. This is a James Charles palette tutorial and a Euphoria inspired tutorial. So just keep that in mind. So first going in with the shade Playground and I'm just using that right there in the outer crease and just gonna use that and blend that upwards. Um, not gonna take it into the inner portion of my I'm making sure to start right there in the crease and just blend up from there and out just because I really didn't want that blue to be so harsh out there. I really wanted to diffuse and blend gorgeously out there and then I go in with the shade B and I just use that to diffuse that out further and just to make those edges look really diffused, blended, balm. All that good stuff. I love using this color combo just because I feel like they complement each other so well. And I also did that with the green and yellow in the inner corner or in the inner portion of my eye. Y'all will see. By the way, you guys, if y'all haven't got in on my giveaway, y'all need to go get on get in on it because literally not very many people are in on it. And that means y'all have a higher chance of winning. So let me know what palette y'all would want. Um, I'm still taking suggestions, so let me know what palette you want, because if you win, I'm going to go get the palette that you want, basically. So let me know what palette y'all want. Um, the giveaway is being held here and on Instagram, but the giveaway rules, basically, are all on Instagram. So y'all make sure to go check out my Instagram at Simon Fox and get in on the giveaway, because it's going to be worth it, I promise. So here I'm taking the shade Social Blade and I'm just using that in the inner corner or the inner portion of my eye right there in that area and like I said, I'm blending and diffusing up. And then I go in with the same shade B and I use that to diffuse that up even more. So the palette that I was planning on actually giving away was the James Charles palette. But I also thought that it would be a really good idea to leave it in y'all's hands and 
let y'all choose what palette y'all wanted. I was thinking the James Charles just because it has basically every single eyeshadow color to make any look that you want. But also at the same time, I really wanted to leave it up to y'all because y'all are the ones that got me to 1k, which is so crazy, but we did it. We're here and I mean, I'm just so excited to see what the future has in store for us. So like I said, if you haven't, make sure to subscribe, make sure to comment, like this video. Go get in on the giveaway on my Instagram. I promise it's going to be worth it, for sure. Here I'm just cutting my crease with a uh, cotton schwab. I honestly love doing this before I cut my crease with concealer just because it adds a really, really clean area. So that way whenever you add your concealer or whatever you want to add to this area, it just comes out flawless. So here I'm taking my Master Conceal and I'm just cutting my crease basically again um, but this time with concealer and then I go in and you can use any shadow any glitter any pigment that you want in this area and it's going to look bomb it's gonna look clean and it's gonna be it's gonna be a cut crease this you're gonna be able to see it I honestly love really clean cut creases so if you're into that try the cotton schwab method it honestly has helped me out tremendously, especially because I have hooded eyes and it's not always easy to map out on hooded eyes. If you have hooded eyes, you know the struggle. Talking about hooded eyes, um, if y'all want another hooded eye tutorial or a more in-depth hooded eye tutorial, let me know down in the comments. I have been wanting to do one. I feel like I have one up, but I didn't really go in-depth. But I really want to just because I feel like it's so much more difficult doing makeup on hooded eyes than any other eyes just because your eye basically, when you open your eye your whole look is gone so you definitely have to work with it and know how to place it and where to blend it and how it's going to look best. Um, but yeah. So here I'm taking the Anastasia glitter and I'm just using that adhesive glue or glitter glue and I honestly love this stuff. I used to use um, eyelash glue, if you know, you know, um, but now I started using this adhesive glue and it is so bomb and these glitters that were sent in this box are so freaking sickening. I can't wait to show y'all more of these glitters in other looks but for now enjoy this blue so now taking the Nervina electric liners and if y'all know I am so obsessed with liners like I live for liners I put liners in all my looks or I really try to I live for liners glitter pretty much anything extra like that's me um, those are my types of looks so here I'm just using the electric pink and I'm just using that right over that cut crease just to really add some more detail to this look because I feel like when you add little details like this it makes such a big difference and I feel like because these are like two totally different colors it really makes the look pop and I live for that. And also, I bring it out there, or bring it in there in the middle, or like the outer portion of my eye, like, like so, obviously, um, just because, I mean, I don't know, I thought it was something cute, something different, and I'm really trying to, I'm trying to be more creative, <laughs> and just kind of come up with new ideas and new techniques, and, you know, anything new for y'all to try as well. Here I'm just taking that liner and just using that in the outer portion of my eye. I also want to mention if you're using these liners you guys, do not use them if you're going to wear lashes. Do not use them in basically where your lashes are going because if your eyelash glue touches it, it's going to reactivate it and it's going to move and it's going to mess up your whole look. I'm telling you from experience. <laughs> it's not fun. but. It's on, they honestly are so gorgeous, so I feel like whenever you use this liner like just out here in the outer portion like I did, um, it's not going to mess up your liner if you put on lashes, but if you put it near your eye, basically where your eyelashes go, it will mess up your look, unfortunately. 
but still so worth it. I honestly think that these liners are so gorgeous, and like I said, any little detail to add to my look, I live for. Here I'm using the Anastasia eyeliner, and I honestly love this liner because it is so dark, so pigmented, and it honestly comes with a lot of product, I feel. I feel like most of my eyeliners get dried out so fast and it's not a vibe, but I honestly live for this liner. Here I'm taking my Body Goddess Shop eyelashes in the style Sasha, and y'all can see that those lashes are freaking gorgeous. Now I'm taking my Winita glitter, and I honestly live for this glitter. Like I said, any little detail makes a big, big difference. And especially if you're going for a euphoria makeup look, you have to add glitter. Like, there's no if, ands, or buts. Or bedazzles. Either or. I honestly think, or both. <laughs> I honestly think both are necessary and are so gorgeous, especially for the euphoria vibe. Um... So yeah, if you're trying to live your euphoria vibe and live your euphoria life, definitely add glitter and bedazzles. It will make the biggest difference and it's just so gorgeous. Here I'm taking my CC Beauty and I'm just using that light blue as lipstick because y'all already know I don't have lipsticks. Use what you got. If you, if you got eyeshadow, use eyeshadow if you have to. It is what it is. You gotta make things work. Um, and I honestly lived for using this as a lipstick because, I mean, just look at how gorgeous that shade is. I ended up adding that light blue playground around basically my lips, like around the areas of my lips just to deepen up and set that lipstick. But that's pretty much up to you and up to preference. Like I said, for me, I honestly lived for this look i love it so much thank you so much if you have watched this far it honestly means the world to me if you haven't please make sure to subscribe make sure to like comment and let me know what kind of videos that you would like to watch just because um i mean i always come up with my own <laughs> videos and you know i mean that's always fun but i really want to know if y'all have any requests let me know i'm not running out of ideas I got y'all on ideas and I got y'all on looks. I just want to know if y'all have like a type of look if y'all want me to do. If y'all want me to do more natural looks or if y'all want me to do more creative looks. Let me know down in the comments. I would really appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching all my videos and showing so much love to them. It honestly means the world to me. And I can't wait to see y'all in my next video. I hope that y'all loved it. And don't forget to get in on the giveaway. Go! Alright, Foxy, so this is the finished look on the James Charles palette tutorial. I honestly had so much freaking fun making this tutorial. I ended up killing it like always. I feel like I'm getting more creative as I practice more. Practice is key, you guys. Um, and yeah, I mean, I just feel like I'm having a lot more fun and letting myself express myself a lot more like I said I used to be somebody that used to not really express myself or used to feel like oh other people are gonna judge me for expressing myself um for like example uh cutting my hair I felt like whenever I cut my hair like I was like oh people are gonna like talk a lot of you know but it is what it is some people are gonna like it some people aren't but at the end of the day it is not for y'all it is for me and it makes me happy to know that my thoughts don't control me you know what i mean um so yeah i hope that y'all love this tutorial i ended up like i said having so much fun making this so if you recreate it please make sure to tag me or dm me i would love to see it and repost it on my instagram and until next time please make sure to leave me some love some likes and some comments and i will see y'all in my next video all right bye foxies